We love Paris. Paris is an amazing city with beautiful architecture and beauty everywhere. And it has its fair share of tourist trap and overrated things. So in this video, we're gonna tell you the 10 things to avoid in Paris so you can make the most out of your trip. Allez, on y va. Now the first one may be controversial with a lot of you, but I personally find the Mona Lisa in Le Louvre to be underwhelming and always super crowded with hundreds of people packed together to get a selfie with La Joconde. Here's a review from someone that was there. The picture itself can be viewed better on the internet. You can hardly get close enough. And above all, you have no peace and quiet for viewing. The irony is that in the same room or just around the corner are amazing paintings that get a lot less attention, but are far more interesting. The Mona Lisa is also located in the most crowded room in Le Louvre and it's not a particularly pleasant experience. Honestly, take a selfie if you have to, but go around the corner and enjoy beautiful art pieces with a lot less people. Another overrated place in Paris is the Chateau de Versailles. I get it. Seeing Louis XIV's palace is a must-do for many people. And the palace is stunning, but it's also a nightmare to visit. This review captures it perfectly. I would not recommend going here. Overcrowded, not enjoyable experience. Rooms were so full that you can't even move with your own will. One will move only when the crowd will move. Suffocating experience. The gardens were enjoyable. If it would have been a nice day, it was hot. Bring an umbrella and a water bottle. I've been there four times and each time it was a relief to find the exit sign. Honestly, there are many palaces in Paris and the surrounding area that deserve your attention and are much less crowded. For instance, Napoleon's apartments at the Louvre, or Vaux le which is the chateau that inspired the design and decor of Versailles. These are much more satisfying to visit. We did a video with five castles to see around Paris. I definitely recommend checking those out, especially in high season. Next are those large cafe terrace restaurants that are nearby a major attraction like this one behind me. They are famous for charging exorbitant prices for mediocre food and awful service. Here is a review from one of the restaurants behind me. Tourist Trap Alert, easily the worst restaurant or bar I've ever sat down in. We paid $47.50 for two Aperol Spritz. And when the check arrived, the waiter shoved the card machine in my face and then added 20%. Both of those cafes near the Eiffel Tower right behind me have a two-star rating on Google and they deserve it. They are rip-off artists. And some cafes near Notre Dame and on Place Saint-Michel are not any better. Again, all you have to do is walk one block away and you'll have a much better experience. You may not have the view, but those establishment don't deserve your business. And in case of doubt, look at the recent negative reviews before you commit to a place. We can all tell the difference between a Karen that's having a bad day and a legitimate complaint. When you're coming to Paris, make sure to check out our online guides. We have one on some of the best restaurants in Paris, best bakeries, best street food, even one of the best places to stay. There's a link in the description below and just check it out and see if it's a good fit for you. Now, back to the video. Another overrated thing that people do in Paris is put locks on fences and bridges. Please don't. Even though you'll find lots of people selling them and you'll come across a lot of locks by sacre Coeur and on bridges over the Seine, the truth is that the weight of the locks causes structural damage and they're gonna be removed on a regular basis. Like here, check out these reviews. They've cut down all of the locks. There's no more locks, the city removed them. If you wanna profess your undying love, save your money and find another way. There is no shortage of romantic opportunities in this city. Next on our list is Montmartre. And we love Montmartre. It has a lot of meaningful memories for us. And I know that it's probably on your list of places to visit in Paris. But the worst meal we've ever had in Paris in all of my life was on top of the hill on Place du Terre. So here is a review from the same restaurant that we ate on Place du Terre. Absolutely awful. You pay 10 euros per pint 
and they're not even cold and 850 for some coca-cola absolutely would not recommend would rather kill myself than be at this place again you're probably much better off walking sometime just a few blocks away Montmartre can get very crowded and it's where you'll encounter pickpockets and many scammers and the main street going up to the Sacré-Cœur from the Anvers metro station is a big tourist trap filled with scammers. You're better off going to the Blanche or Abbesse metro station to avoid this whole mess. Another overrated thing in Paris is climbing up the Eiffel Tower. I know, there's no symbol of Paris more iconic than the Eiffel Tower. Of course you want to go see it and photograph it. We enjoy having picnics right here on the lawn and seeing it from a bridge or a boat. It's a joy to see in the skyline, but climbing up the tower has been a big disappointment for many people. Check out this review. One of the most overrated tourist attractions. There's a queue to get in for a queue to get into the elevator, and then there's one more queue to get to the summit. Trust me, it's not worth the time and effort. The Eiffel Tower is visible from almost all parts of Paris. It's highly overrated and not recommended. Yes, the view from the top is beautiful, but as Antoine says, the thing you can't see from the Eiffel Tower is the Eiffel Tower. And the experience of climbing it can kill a lot of precious time that you could spend doing other amazing stuff. And it can leave you exhausted and in a bad mood. Instead, check out the view from the top of the Arc de Triomphe, from the Centre Pompidou, or the top of the Mont Parnasse Tower. Those are stunning. Next on my list are the Instagram famous places like Angelina by Le Louvre or Last de Falafel on Rue des Rosiers. Angelina was an amazing coffee shop 40 years ago and it's now officially an overpriced tourist trap where you'll wait in line for 30 minutes then to be crammed like a sardine to drink a subpar hot chocolate. Here is a review about the place. I was pretty excited to visit this much hype establishment to enjoy their famous hot chocolate and pastries. And then it goes on to say overall would not recommend this place. I am sure there are other establishments in Paris that would be worth your time and money. And I agree with that assessment. It's just not worth the wait. We found their hot chocolate to be average. There are plenty of other better options all over Paris. And the same applies to Last de Falafel on Rue des Rosiers. You'll find a better and cheaper place right around the corner. Another overrated thing to do in Paris is shopping or dining on the Champs Elysees. As a teenager, I dreamed of shopping here. And it seems so glamorous, like an Audrey Hepburn kind of thing to do. And I thought maybe one day that would be me. But on my first trip to Paris, long before I met Antoine, that dream died in a pit of disappointment. Not only is it overpriced, it's really underwhelming. And you can tell from this review, I'm not the only one. It's not as spectacular as expected. It's only a street for designer clothes, expensive cafes, and so on and it was pretty dirty. And this place is swarming with pickpockets. It's nice to see it all dolled up with Christmas lights, but really this place doesn't deserve more than a quick walk by. And there's so many other places that are beautiful and better for shopping, even if what you're looking for is an overpriced beverage. Next on my list are those giant dinner crews that you'll see along the Seine. As a Parisian, I've always known them to be tourist trapped. Here's a review from one of those giant dinner crews. The most awful boat tour experience. I went with nine other people and we all hated it. Save your money and either do another boat tour or do an open bus tour or just walk around the beautiful city. If what you have in mind is a romantic experience to celebrate something, I'd look into a much smaller dinner cruise than those giant banquet halls on water. On these giant boats, the food is average at best, service is adequate but not great, and overall, it probably won't meet your expectation. We recently did a video on our experience on a much smaller boat, so check it out before you commit. The next overrated thing is the Paris flea market at San Juan. I'm pretty sure when people ask about the Paris flea market, they're expecting something like the local markets we covered in this video. You'll find those all around, but the flea market at San Juan is on the outskirts of town. 
You'll find lots of homeless people and sketchy stuff, and not the bargains or unique things that you may be expecting. This review captures it all. The environment left a lot to be desired. I guess I'd hope for more based on the hype. The items were much too expensive for what they were, and there were quite a number of counterfeit designer goods being passed off as authentic. If you're gonna make the trip, be sure to do your research first. Rather than going through all that, check out the covered passages or the Thursday market at Place de la Bourse, the street market behind the Allegre marketplace. We found lots of good antiques and little items for the dinner table and stuff that we love in those places. If you want to go there, do your research first so you know what to expect. If you like what you saw here, next I would watch this video on the 25 biggest mistakes tourists make in Paris. 